Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to disallow a charge from showing up on a claim form so you don't bill it to the insurance company. We'll start by going to our patient list by clicking on patients up here at the top, and then we'll choose Robin Williams to work with. So I'm going to simply click his name and click on Ledger. I'm going to post a few items from his treatment plan by going to my options menu and clicking post from treatment plan and we'll go ahead and select the items that we want to post for today's treatment. We'll say the crown on number four and the buildup on number four and let's say it was a Seric crown so we seeded it today too. And then I'm going to click post selected items. And now on the ledger you can see our seat, our crown, and our post and core buildup for tooth number four. In many situations, the insurance company is going to pay you based on the date you prepped the crown, not necessarily the day you seat crown, although there are a few companies that do want the seat date, and that is the date that they pay you off of. In this situation, we're billing to MetLife for our dental insurance, and for the most part, they want the prep date, not the seat date. The seat itself does not have any money attached to it, so that item I want to exclude from my claim form. I'm simply going to double click on that item and mark it as a do not bill insurance item and save my changes. Now that we've disallowed that on a claim form, I'm going to go ahead and create my claim. We'll click OK to go ahead and view the claim. Since two claims were created, I actually need to now go to my claims list so I can choose which claim I want to view. So we have two Robin Williams claims. I'll double click on it to open it up and view the claim. And this is for a reevaluation, so that's not the claim we were looking for. I'll double click on this second one. And here's our claim for tooth number four for only a buildup and a crown. So you can see that the seat did not show up on this claim form, which is what we were after. If the seating of a crown is a code that you never want to bill out to an insurance company and have show up on your claim form, we can manage that once and for all. Just like products, for example, you wouldn't necessarily bill the insurance company for an Oral-B or a Sonicare toothbrush that you sold. So in order to manage that, I'm going to our list and our service code list. I'm going to pull up our crown seat code, D0299 and I'm going to edit that service code. Here in the service code setup, I'm just going to mark it as a do not bill insurance code, and any time now that this code gets used, it's automatically going to be selected to not bill the insurance. You can override it if there is a situation where you would want to send the seating of the crown to the insurance company on the claim form, just by simply deselecting the box that says do not bill insurance on that patient's ledger. So I would go here and just deselect the box and save my changes. If you had previously posted that code on any patients prior to today, whatever status it had on that patient's ledger at the time you put it in there is what's still going to show. So you have two options on how to disallow an item from going on a claim form. You can either change it on the service code list so it's done once and for all from that point forward, or you could choose to only select it from the patient's ledger, perhaps as if it's a redo or something to that effect and you don't want to rebill it to insurance. You just double click on the item and select do not bill insurance from there, save your changes, and then create your claim. If you have any further questions about this week's tip of the week, please feel free to contact Dentamax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.